Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing for you the second update in my 5 by fall project pan. This is a little side project pan that I'm running this year. It's going to be three months long so I kicked off, I did an intro at the start of June, updated at the end of June, this update is from the end of July and then the finale will be at the end of August. It is only the five products so it should be quite a short and sweet video so let's get on into it. <laughs> Starting off with my primer at the intro, this weighed 15 grams. At the end of update one, it weighed 13 grams. And for my check-in for update two, I had got it down to eight grams. I'm feeling really good about this. I feel like this will definitely be done. There is, it's, I think I said this in the last one, like you can see so much windowing through the packaging that you guys can't really see on the camera. But I'm not at all worried. I think basically I'm going to be cutting this open this week and definitely should be finished by the finale at the end of this month with no problems at all. For my bronzer the goal is not to try and hit pan or to use it up or anything like that. I am simply aiming to try and use this 50 times within this project. Between the intro and update number one I actually only used it seven times so I was lagging behind but I did catch myself up quite a good bit between update one and this update and in that month I used it 18 times. So in total now I've used this 25 times. That does mean I've got another 25 times to go to hit the goal which I don't, if I'm totally honest, I feel like I was like bathing in this last month. I wore this every single time that I wore makeup. So the fact I used it 18 times and felt like I was like sick of the sight of it, I don't really know realistically if I'm going to use it 25 times in one month, but I will use it as much as possible and we'll see what it ends up at. In terms of the visual change, there's not really any I don't really know if I'm expecting there to be any, even if I do manage the full 50 uses and get another 25 out of this between now and the next update. If I'm totally honest, I'm not expecting to see pan or anything like that. This is more like a, a goal that's feeding towards a larger goal, which is that I would obviously like to empty this whole palette at some point. I had this blush here in my project pan last year. The aim was to use it 100 times. I had used it a few times before that anyway, it wasn't new in my collection or anything and that did get me a bit of pan but obviously I've still got quite a lot of product left here so I will be aiming to use that but I'm hoping if I use this 50 times this year and 50 times next year if I repeat this project pan which is the plan then by the year after that I'll be hopefully at this kind of point and then it'll maybe just be another year long project pan to put this in to finish it. That is the goal, so we will see what happens over the next couple of years. It is like such a horrible thing to say like a couple of years before I'd be looking at getting this emptied out, but I think that really does help put it in perspective when you're buying things, how long you're going to have them for, how long it's actually going to take you to use them up, and theoretically then use that to inform buying less of them going forward. That's what I found super enlightening about project planning is getting those figures on how long it actually takes to use things up so yeah always glad to be working on something and doing something and know that I, I at some point will empty this palette but yeah this was a Christmas I think I keep saying this is Christmas 2016 it was Christmas 2017 so even if I say like that was December 2017 so if I say I started using this palette at the beginning of 2018 we're now at 2024, over halfway through 2024, and there's probably, as I say, at least another two and a half years of using this palette before it's going to be finished. So it really does put things into perspective. The third item in the project and the last makeup item is this. This is the remnants of a MAC lipstick that I had the bullet of in a project pan previously. So this was what was scraped out the bottom. Feeling really good about this. I think because it's all kind of smooshed in, I'm not sure how visible the change is to you guys, but there's definitely been another good jump between the last update and this one, and there was a good jump between the intro and update one. So I think this will be finished by the finale, no problem at all. I don't know if that will be the first lips, I think it might be actually. 
yeah I think it will be I think it'll be the first full lipstick that I can actually say I have used up probably ever basically but especially since I started tracking my empties so yeah really really excited to be able to put that on the inventory The last two items are both skincare. So the first one is this Beauty Pie Neck Spray. So I didn't use this very much between the intro and update one, but I definitely, I picked up my use between the last update and this one. I don't think this will be finished within the project, but I feel like if I use that again, then I know this will definitely be finished probably the month after this project ends. I'm actually thinking about possibly extending it for an extra month, you know, maybe taking it up to the end of September. I don't know. Like, it, it kind of feels like cheating, but I feel like between the bronzer and this, maybe just would benefit from that little extra month to get the updates within the, the reporting of the project. Does that make sense? Let me know what you guys think. Should I just end it at the end of August for the 1st of September being the 1st of fall? Or should I ex extend it by a month so that we can see the the progress? What do you guys think? Let me know. And the last product that's in this project is my hand cream. So this went into the project at 29 grams. At update number one, it was 27 grams. Now I thought, I, I feel like visually it looks like I've used quite a lot of this, but I have weighed this now and this is weighing in at 22 grams. Because this packaging is um, sort of metal rather than like plastic or whatever, the packaging itself is probably quite heavy. And yeah, as you can see, I mean, I have like squeezed it at the top. This is what's left. But this is another one that I'm thinking maybe a month isn't enough, but like two months might get me this within the confines of a project if I extend it by a month. So yeah, I don't know. This is how much is left. I'll continue using it for another month. We'll see where we end up at the end of next month. Um, and then I'll decide what I'm doing, if I'm extending the project or not. Even if I don't extend the project though, this should definitely be done within the year which gives me another hand cream to my yearly empties if you've been watching my inventory update videos you will know I do have a goal in place to try and reduce my hand cream stash down a bit so uh, every little helps Anyway, that is everything for this update. Only the five items, short and sweet. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like Project Pan content, I will link up in the end card for you my 2024 Project Pan playlist, so you can go and watch that from the start. And I'll also link up last year's Project Pans as well. So lots of Project Pan content for you. If you are new to the channel, I would love if you hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.